we have taken a standard door with a flat surface. We're going to use the architrave, the woodwork around the door, to be the surround of the false bookcase. You need to measure the door, height and width. As you can see, we have put a skirting board on the door already to act as a kick plate and visually to represent the base of the bookcase. You need to paint the door matte black and now we're going to finish it off. Working with original bookworks, we have come up with a design style and height of each row to give the best possible mix of books and create the desired effect. We have used 25mm square full shelving made for us which has been painted to match the skirting and the surround of the door to give the bookcase look. Using a tape measure and pencil, measure from the top of the shelf below the height of the next row of books you're working on. Draw a pencil line across the door. We use grip fill in the green tube as a permanent adhesive and put a strip of hot melt glue along the shelf for instant contact to hold the shelf in place while the grip fill is hardening. Check the shelf level with the spirit level. Here you can see the false bookcase complete with shelving waiting for the books. The books will arrive packed row by row with an overall plan. You undo the packs one at a time, lay out the panels to check with the plan and see how they are arranged. You can see we've done a couple of rows already. We'll show you how to do it. Spread the grip fill across the back of each panel as a permanent adhesive and put a strip of hot melt glue across each edge for instant contact to hold the panel in place. Fix it onto the door. And now onto the next panel. You'll see we have used a book with a big fat spine here to pull the door closed. For those who like the informal look, we have placed a few books horizontally, as you can see here. To finish off, a quick dust with a soft cloth, and then stand back and admire.